morning, ladies and gents. Shall we have a catch-up? I've uh, got a load of footage in the bag, in the can, as they say, and I need to edit it, which I'm going to be doing tonight. Today's Saturday, by the way. So I'm not sure where I left off on the last vlog. So let's have a walk around, and I'll pick up and update you on what I've been doing the past few days, if I haven't already just edited that in the previous... Any, you get the drift anyway. Let's have a look around. Look at this. It's absolutely clean as a whistle, as they say. I almost, this week, and I stopped myself, I almost cut a channel out along here to put some drainage channels in. But after that I thought, well, if I do that, that means I have to lower this drainage channel as well. So I'd need to cut this section out too. And that would be quite difficult because it has to be a lot deeper that end. And I'm not sure the still saw will get down into it. But it's a project that may get done before we reopen after the lockdown. And if you kind of look at the floor along here, as it runs up, there's a natural crack in the uh, poorly laid concrete floor. And this section here has kind of two cracks, as you can see where the shadow of the camera is. So I thought I'd take that whole width out and replace it. And then I thought, well, I can definitely see that this side slopes down into the drain. I naturally use this as a kind of area to run down anyway. But this side, it's, this is why it's cracked, you see. I think it's heaved. And this side actually runs down the way to about here. And then it goes back up again. It's very strange. And then it goes up to that wall. So the channel, it's kind of got two channels, one up there and one there. So I thought, well, if I did that, I'd need to physically bring liquid this way. I suppose it's something that I can do in the future. But I decided not to do it yet because it's still pretty cold. And I came in the other day and I couldn't use any of the taps because the pipes were frozen. So I don't want to be laying concrete in those conditions. Let's go into the workshop, have a little bit of a look, see? I've left the laser on there, look. I'll turn that off. So the workshop is looking relatively tidy. I almost as well started the new welding table project, but I thought don't do that. I've got several projects on the go as it is. I don't know why I'm looking for another one. Anyone would think I'm ratched. Hey, but uh, I decided not to do that. So we'll save that project for another day where I can make somewhat of a continuous uh, and understandable video, perhaps. So well, I've just tidied everything up, moved all the can stock all over this side. This is all what we've got in terms of cans, apart from another three pallets down there in, in the cold rooms. The cold rooms as well are off. And uh, then I thought, right, that's nice and tidy. We're going to want, um, we're going to want the uh, the brewery to look good now. I cleaned the doors, and after cleaning them, I thought, you know what, I might do. I might strip them back, fill them, and paint them. So that's what I'm in the process of doing at the minute. But there's something special coming up for when I paint these. They aren't just going to be painted red again. We're going to put some artwork on them. I also cleaned up this bolt look. It looks really cool now, doesn't it? Now it's all like black japanned. I hit it with a blowtorch to burn any paint residue off. I also unblocked these drains down here. I don't know if I mentioned that in another video. I'll take my brush in while I'm at it. So let's go back in. There we go. Quick catch up has been had. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I've moved around a lot then. So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do now is hit all of that filler with some sandpaper or the orbital sander down here. Flatten it off. Any other bits that need more filling, like this old letterbox section. Oh, that's gone off nicely. 
then I'll just fill this off as well and uh, level it back. And then I'm going to hit the whole door with this uh, Primer Sealer Stain Killer from Zinza, Bullseye 123. So it's a water based kind of primer, and this is really good for turning a slippy, slidey, glossed surface like that into something that I'll accept other types of paint such as acrylics. There we go, giving you an idea of what we're going to do. So I'm going to sand this down and uh, well, we'll come back and have a look when I've done it. That's the first coat on. You can see a little bit of the red through it. But it's going to have a base coat as well of, uh, of whatever colour the background is going to be. So that might just be enough. I might not need to put another coat on on top of there. We shall see. I suppose it won't hurt. It's barely used any of the paint to be honest. This would already, but you can see the edge where it was. I think I'd be able to get another two or three coats on front and back if I needed to. And then yeah, I've done the frame on the outside as well. I've just left this bit here so it doesn't stick together. And I'll do that. I'll do that on another day. So I'm just going to buzz round, remove any drips that there might be. And uh, that's it for today. As, uh, I'm not doing much else to be honest. It is Saturday after all folks and I'm going to bugger off home and uh, I want to do some artwork on the computer for the front of the pub. Not for the doors. I've already got uh, a very good friend and somebody who you, whose work you may have seen before doing me a little design for these and then I'll be uh, transferring it from a photograph or a drawing onto the doors myself. <laughs> Exciting times.